All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Nate Diaz and Mark Jacasey. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Diaz is eight years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the kickboxer holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Montrusha Casey. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins and 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting an ultimate fighter season winner, Nate And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. And we are ready to go with live action from Toyota Center here in Houston, Texas. Opens with the inside leg kick. Oh, beautifully timed with that head kick. Nice. Jacasey's cheek appears to be cut here, Joe. Yes, it is. Not ideal. Diaz gets touched by that leg kick attempt. They're going out. After it quick here. Big left hand there inside. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Throwing that jab, no good. That's a nice leg kick right there. Oh, strong punch there by Jacasey. That's again the experience. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Tagged him. Good defense there. And he connects with the punch. Tagged him again. Beautifully timed and place kick there. Nice. Oh! Oh! He, he is getting off some huge punches here. Nicely timed sweep, and now he's in half guard. Oh, he connects there. Now to full guard. He's going for the triangle. He's going for the triangle. He's going to secure it. He's going to switch to the arm bar. Look at this though. Oh! And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Inside control here. Hits the reversal and right into north-south. He's in half guard here. He's posturing up here. Now he's in guard. Nice hammer fist. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. Back to half guard now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jacase. He's got full, oh, no, nope, half guard. And now he's in full mount. Under a minute now to go in the round. Back to side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He got tagged there. Oh, Jacasey gets up, he is back on the feet. Look oh! oh! This could be it right here, he might be out. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Punch coming and blocked. Oh! Big left hand! Horn sounds for the end of the round. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stuck.
stunned by a huge shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. And here's a devastating blow that almost ends this fight. Outstanding cardio, excellent length and reach, along with very solid Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and professional level boxing skills. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket. He's this fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, hit kick blocked though by Jacase. How about that chin? Oh, this could be it. These are some bombs he has thrown. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. He hurt him with that hook. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice body shot. Oh, right hook. He hurt him. He is in trouble. Corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Whoa! Big shots! Oh! And now he lands a combination! Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! That one hurt him badly. Big left. Inside leg kick. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab effectively here. Oh, and he connects with a punch yet again. He has attacked that area nonstop, probably targeting the cut, I would think, at this point in time. Jacase's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Roundhouse kick, Joe, unable to find the target. Tags him. Oh, nice inside leg kick. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Diaz. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, Jacase, he gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfair. Oh, oh he tagged him! And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Let's see it one more time. Last round. You got one more round for me? Give me a good five minutes here. You got this one. The original. So here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. That last round was an all-out brawl. They continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Diaz gets caught by the inside leg. Oh. Nice combination there by Jacase. 
That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. Oh, huge block. Nice. Oh. Wow. He's in big, big, big trouble. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. And the chance of Diaz bringing through the crowd. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. Nice punch there by Diaz. Tying up here in the clinch, looking for openings. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy. Here. Wow! He's in big trouble. Blocks the shot. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. It's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. His head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And he's looking for that left. Oh, nice job defensively to get the hands up and avoid further damage there in and around that cut. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Just misses there with the left. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Diaz gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, both men exchange. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh! He blocks the punch. Big oh, left, left hand there. Oh! Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those. Oh, we heard him again. All right, so this one will go to a decision, and this one might receive some bonus money as well. Close fight. Both fighters went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the octagon. A lot of significant strikes landed on both sides. We are very curious to see how the judges saw this one. Round three, some serious torque and power behind that leg kick. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 9.28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, Nate Diaz! All right, so another big win for Nate Diaz here tonight, and I think more importantly, this sets him up for a massive opportunity now moving forward. Perhaps even a title shot at 155 pounds. Nate Diaz has made a career of defying the odds, rising to the occasion, and he certainly did that tonight in a matchup that people thought maybe was stacked against him. So congratulations to Nate Diaz. You can be sure they are celebrating in the 209 and beyond after the big win for Nate Diaz here tonight.